there, welcome to No Small Life, where we help you rebuild a life you love no matter what you've walked through. Your life is not small and you don't have to live it that way any longer. We are Chris and Megan Rhea, and today we're talking about rebuilding your relationships. any kind of meaningful relationship, whether it's a relationship with your spouse, mm -hmm. your family, right. your siblings, your friends, yes. your co-workers, your boss, your employees. It doesn't matter if you have any kind of meaningful relationships, eventually there will be conflict. It's inevitable. Conflict is inevitable mm -hmm. and in our last video which you can go back and watch if you want to we talked about how important it is in any relationship to ask for what you wish you had more of or less of mm -hmm. in the relationship right. and that it's okay to assertively communicate that way but when you do sometimes that can create conflict yes <laughs> and usually people have one of four ways they react mm -hmm. or respond in conflict. Right. And I'm going to give you a hint. Three of them are unhealthy That's ways so to respond. So let's see which one you are when conflict arises. The first conflict resolution style we are going to talk about is my default. When I, when I don't handle conflict the right way, this is where... I go, and that's called fight to win. Mm -hmm. This is the I win, you lose, where I put being right yeah. above the person, above the conflict, right. it doesn't matter. And how many people know that you can be right and also be very wrong in a relationship? Yeah. So when you fight to win, a lot of times you get passionate, mm -hmm. you get loud, yep. your body language you changes, big, right? yeah. you get big, you get intimidating, you might mm -hmm. even say offensive things, use bad language. Mm -hmm. Not me, you know, but mm -hmm. no. some people do this when they fight to win. Right. So that's our first conflict resolution style. This is, I can't let it go. I'm dying on that hill, right. almost every hill, and I am going to prove to you that I am right and you are wrong. The second conflict resolution style we want to talk about is withdrawing, okay? Ooh. Withdrawing. And basically what that means is when you are in the conflict, you really don't see a whole lot of hope for resolution of the conflict, and so you shut down. This can look like you are physically withdrawing. You would like leave a room. Some mm -hmm. people leave a house. Um, they get in the car, they're just out. You know, sometimes it's just emotionally shutting down you can give your mate the silent treat or the person that you're in the conflict with the silent treatment and you're almost mm, you're almost punishing them <laughs> by not engaging in this fight with them right you just shut down you don't respond and you just kind of withdraw and go inside the third conflict resolution style is to yield mm -hmm. and when you yield when you're in a conflict basically you say okay yeah no problem you're right you're right because you don't want to further the conflict right. and you don't want to start something new. You really don't see a whole lot of hope of resolution here and so you just kind of give in. The problem is the person you're in a conflict with doesn't know you're not okay. Mm. <laughs> and you start harboring some bitterness and animosity in your heart. So you see with these first three um, conflict resolution styles we gave you, fight to win, mm -hmm. withdraw, yield. These are all unhealthy ways to respond in any kind of conflict. Right. For example, in the fight to win style, mm -hmm. you're going to say or do things you wish you didn't say or do right. and want to take back later. Right. And then you're going to create trauma or pain mm -hmm. in this conversation. When you withdraw, you're punishing that person. Right. You're saying, I don't want to even talk about this conflict anymore. I can't deal with it right now. And then you have a lot of unresolved issues in your relationship. And then with the yield, because you just yield and say, okay, you're right, I'm wrong. 
the person doesn't think there's anything wrong in the relationship, but yet a root of bitterness and animosity is growing inside of you. That's why these first three are unhealthy. But that's okay, because we have a fourth conflict <laughs> resolution style. So the fourth conflict resolution style, the goal of conflict resolution style is to lovingly resolve. Lovingly resolve. And that happens when you place the relationship mm -hmm. above the conflict. Wow, that's now, not easy to do in the heat of the moment. <laughs> not easy. And that's, like I said, not just your spouse, but in right. any relationship, mm -hmm. if you can get to the point right. where you can say, okay, I'm going to take myself out of the equation. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lead with my emotions. Right. I want, I'm for this other person. Mm -hmm. I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. And I'm actually going to put our relationship, our friendship, mm -hmm. our marriage, whatever it may be, I'm going to put that above being right, yeah. above fighting, above the conflict. Above your pride, ab above all above of that. Above all right? of it. Yeah. You value your relationship more than the conflict. Mm -hmm. And you definitely you keep your tone low right. and you talk assertively and you listen to one another. So there you have your four different ways to resolve conflict mm -hmm. and only one is healthy. So why don't you leave a comment below on which default style you think that you are. Right. We all have one, right? <laughs> we, we all do. But like Chris said, the goal is to lovingly resolve and to help give you an edge and lovingly resolve. Just a little nugget here. Timing of conflict is crucial. Yes. It's crucial. You can't always control when a conflict arises, right. but you can control when you address it, right? right? And we just know from being humans that really <laughs> late at night, not always the best time to have a conflict right. because you're tired. There's actually a fun little acronym I want to teach you guys. I don't know if it's fun or not <laughs> to talk about conflict, um, but it's called HALT, okay? I think it's fun. I think it's fun, right? It, it's a good like little brain trigger. Halt, and that's like I should halt having a conflict if I'm hungry, right? Angry, lonely, or tired. Yeah, you're gonna be way more susceptible to solving that conflict in an unhealthy uh -huh. way when you're one of those four things, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So just that little nugget in there because we want to help you guys lovingly resolve the conflict. So remember, rebuilding your life from the inside out, rebuilding a life you love. It has a lot to do with how we interact with yeah. other people, how we're in relationship and in community with others. Mm -hmm. So try to work on having healthier relationships this week. And just before we go, if you haven't yet subscribed, we'd love for you to subscribe to this channel. It helps us put this content out for free mm -hmm. each and every week. And we also want to let you know we are a nonprofit organization. We love to have you partner with us financially. You can do so at nosmalllife.me slash donate. Have a great day, everyone. And remember, your life is not small. Bye, guys.